Today we are going to upgrade our code from last year uh, to today's standards. And I also want to show you one cool thing that will save us some time in the future. So first, this is the version I was at last time. This was 0.17.5 of Smith 4 s uh, The latest is 0.18.16. So definitely a bunch of versions since that happened. Uh, I am also going to upgrade my HP 4 s versions. And at the moment, the latest is 0.23.26. And I also think we are ready to go to Scala 3. We are probably not going to use that many of Scala 3's features, but I think at this stage it's pretty mature and it's ready for us to use. Although I'm going to have a small caveat here, I'm going to use 3.3.3 instead of 3.4.1, uh, which is the latest version, we're going to use LTS, so long-term support. So hopefully if you go back here in a couple of years, this will still be a supported version so you won't have any trouble using it. And last but not least, I think we can upgrade SBT. Uh, well, actually we don't have to. I did this, I think, between videos just because someone asked for JDK 21 support. So you're welcome. Uh, now we're at the latest. And now I can update my Scala FMT dialect so that we will have, uh, sorry, not that, we'll have Scala 3. I can also update Scala FMT itself. And let me just check the latest version and it's 381. So that's what I'm gonna use. Uh, now is a good time to run it on the whole code base and we don't have that many changes, so that's good. Uh, I think the, the way that we run our application also doesn't change and the code still compiles. If we go to main Scala, um, I think we should be able to run that very easily as well. So yeah, no issues here. Let's try to run uh, the server main. The server is up and in a separate window, I'll use bloop to run root domain class client main and yeah that still works the last thing i wanted to show you is that the smithy build file which we created last time we don't actually need to create it by hand anymore we can get this generated from our dependencies in smithy for us so i'm going to delete it just because it's also using an older version of alloy so if i delete that there's this new task smithy for us update lsp config when i run that it creates a JSON file for us. And if I go to any Smith file, it actually recognizes uh, the, the traits still. And this is really it. This is all I wanted to show you. So just uh, so that you're not surprised when you see the next Smithy 4S video, we are on 018. So thank you for watching and see you in the next video.